Armadillo News. Two thousand and eight proves to be a banner year for Armadillo Aerospace. Along with winning Level One of the Northrop Grumman Lunar Lander Challenge, contracts with the Rocket Racing League and NASA help mark two thousand and eight as the team's first profitable year. Armadillo begins work in the first half of the year, providing the propulsion system for one of the Rocket Racing League's rocket racers, getting its feet wet for the first time with winged rocket vehicles. This engine runs on liquid oxygen and ethanol, a propellant combination Armadillo has now had years of experience with. They seed the rocket boom with various concoctions for dramatic effect. In August, the team heads up to the Oklahoma Spaceport for first flight tests. Are you ready, folks? Here we go. Three, two, one. Test pilot Len Fox remarks that the takeoff had a bigger kick in the pants than an F-18 on afterburners. Concurrent development for NASA introduces Armadillo into the realm of using liquid methane as a fuel, adding yet another propellant combination to the team's long list. In addition to blowdown style pressurization that the team has been using for years, they are also now experimenting with a self pressurized system, allowing the cryogenic propellants to pressurize themselves as they heat up. The team has long considered this self pressurization approach a viable option for upper stages in orbital operations, but eliminating the expensive helium needed in the blowdown systems makes it an appealing avenue to explore for suborbital work as well. The engine is currently at the White Sands Test Facility for a full run of tests. October finds the team once again heading to New Mexico to participate in the annual Northrop Grumman Lunar Lander Challenge intending to capture both the Level 1 and Level 2 first prizes. This is the third year attempting these flights in competition. They had already demonstrated a full Level 1 profile flight on their own with Pixel the prior year. First up, the mod attempts Level 1. An early bounce on the first leg disqualifies it, so the team recycles and tries again. Perfect! Unfortunately, the airspace must be reopened to regular air traffic, even though the team still has plenty of time in its competition window, so the second leg is delayed until the afternoon. Picking up where they left off, the team prepares to take to the skies once again. Will they succeed this time? And away she goes. A 
Ahmad gracefully traverses the 100 meters between paths. Beautiful. Good job, fellas. The next morning, the team tries for level two with Pixel, the first attempt ever at this level of the prize. Unfortunately, a slow-moving fuel valve causes a mixture imbalance at takeoff, burning a hole in the engine and knocking Pixel over. It's a tough little rocket, though, and its injuries are relatively minor. In fact, it's already back in service. However, the team is now working on a mod with a high-pressure augmentation that it intends to fly for Level 2 this year. Also up this year are mid-altitude flights at their home base in Texas. The paperwork is almost final on the waivers that will allow them to hop to 8,000 feet right in their own backyard. Following that, it's off to Spaceport America for the next steps in incremental testing all the way to space. It's been a long road for the little team with an armadillo mascot, but the future is brighter than ever. Add Astro Widget to the stars.